Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we are super excited guys. We got another two that we needed a long time ago. As you know, we do buy some, some cars that need uh, some bodywork once in a while. Get a crazy good deal at car auctions. So uh, we got this one here guys. Uh, you know about this one, it's a uh, 2013 Hyundai Sonata. You see quite a few videos on that. It was hit in the back. And we finally got a hydraulic uh, hydraulic body frame repair kit. So stay with us to see what we got now in a second, guys. And just to let you know, guys, this video is not sponsored. Everything is purchased by us. We just want to leave a review, show you how to use the tools and stuff like that. So, you know, if it's a good deal or not. All right, guys, so you can see what it says on top. Uh, lifting range is uh, 120 millimeters. The volume, it weighs about 15 kilograms, about 30 pounds. Okay, so let's see, let's see what's in the, in the case now. Okay, that's something that we haven't used yet, so we will be working guys together. Right there, this is a full tank capacity, even says on the tin. You can see, it even comes with the menu here, so you can see, uh, how to use it and all that stuff so it's gonna tell you how to put it together how to service it it has the different rams here that we'll be using as well okay you can see the different ends like if you need to get in a corner or something like that this is a rubber head which is really really convenient as well if you don't want to do any damage and if you want to spread something you know sometimes how hard it is Okay, this is the device right there, that scissor is a really convenient thing. So when you pump it, it's going to open, it's going to spread, and when it spreads, it opens, uh, let's say, that uh, you need to put the fender out or something like that. And this is the pump assembly right here. Okay, so let's, let's do some, some working on that sonata, on that Elantra now and see if we will be able to achieve something now. So we'll be connecting it now guys. Uh, okay, we're still warming. To be honest with you, we never we never had fancy equipment like that. As you see in our videos, it's mostly involving hammers and pulling with another car. Usually we don't buy frame damages or anything like that, nothing bad. Because uh, first it could be dangerous, second you have to have quite a bit of tools to fix that. Like if it's a fender bender, a little bit of heat. As long as it doesn't involve the suspension, it's uh, perfectly fine for us because uh, usually it's not uh, it's not uh, involving so much work and it doesn't uh, need special tools and you don't need to deal with uh, uh, with uh, cutting, fixing frame, bending, all that stuff. You can see this one is pretty much just part of the crash support and uh, we drove the car about five miles so. It does drive straight, really straight, like new, so we don't have any structural damage there. Okay, here we'll need to do some body work, definitely, you can see that looks bad, but it will be fixed. So, now, okay, we'll put that end right there, okay, like that, you can see, so we'll be able to push, uh, to push on the trunk there, to come out a little bit. We have the different ends now. Okay, so we'll take the adapter now. We need an end piece for the other side that we'll be pushing on. Okay, so let's see, maybe something like that. Okay, that's our crazy dog there. So it spreads about 12 centimeters, which is uh, about four and a half, almost five inches. So let's see if that will be enough in our case. Okay, and for safety, what I found uh, really interesting is that the handle actually has a thread. Okay, right here, so you can get it tied that way. It's not going to move everywhere, get loose, hit you on the head or something. Okay, so we'll just get it tight now and we'll pump it a few times. The valve is on this side right here. This is the valve, okay, that you open and close right here. I don't know if it's open, okay it's closed now, so you can see it started spreading already a little bit, so, okay I'll be bumping here now, 
Okay, okay, check it out now. Check out how much we're going to gain now. And you always have to be out of the way because that thing might slip out. So never ever stay in the way of the hydraulics. Never pull your fingers or anything like that. Okay, you can see. Check it out. Okay, you can see on the outside even. Coming out. Okay, so that was that was perfect guys. I cannot believe that that thing works so good. Okay, now when we want to let go, all we are going to do is just open the valve right here. Okay, and it's spring loaded. Check this thing out. It's going to push itself in. And now you need to close the valve again. Alright guys, I'm super excited about see, uh, seeing how those, uh, th that spreader, I call it scissors, but it's spreader, how that thing works. So we're going to connect it quick and just to see how, how it actually works. Uh, because in this case we won't need to use it. Okay, check out how much we gain. We are almost straight here, we just need to do more on this side, fine work and uh, it will take probably a half a day to mess with it and make it make it perfect. Okay, so we're going to connect the scissors now. Okay, so you just twist it. It's a regular thread. Okay, get it tied. All the way, and I just want to see how that thing works. And four turns is enough, guys. I mean, for little cars, if you're not doing anything anything crazy, it will it will do the job. Uh, Right. I just want to show you how that thing works. Okay, let's see. It. I'm curious too. Okay, check it out how it spreads. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, and when you let go, okay, you can see you open the valve and it closes itself. So that just a short review, guys, on how we're using the tool. We'll have more videos on it as we learn how to use it as well because. Uh, I told you, it's our first time, we never had anything so fancy, we used to use hammer and regular jack before, but definitely, definitely more videos will come on that, it's very inexpensive for what it is, I think, and uh, I will have the link in the video, guys, so check it out, thank you for watching, guys, please subscribe and see you guys next time.